I've played Valorant since closed beta, but there's one agent that I always try to avoid playing, and that is Viper. She was actually the first agent that I ever unlocked, but after the first game with her I never ever played her again. I think that's because I was really bad when I started playing this game, and Viper was just way too difficult for me. But as you can see in my match history, I non-stop played Viper for the past week, and I'm gonna try to explain everything that I've learned when playing her. And by the way, I played all these games on my smurf, that's the reason that I'm only silver free. But honestly, if I played these games on my main, I would have lost everything, so <laughs> it's okay. Let's first talk about her E ability, her wall. If you play on the defensive side, I would recommend to never ever use her wall before the barriers are going down. It's way better to just wait a while and see what the enemies are going to do. Your wall is especially good for the retake, so save your wall for the retake. A good example is this clip in the background. I save my wall for when the enemies are forcing to one side. This way I got way more advantage over Killjoy. I positioned myself to a good spot, then I put the wall down and I killed him easily. Ah, easy peasy. Keep in mind though that if you are using your wall, the enemies know exactly where you are. That's the only reason why it might be helpful to use your wall before the barriers are going down. But in my opinion it's way better to just save it. Also, keep in mind that you have the control about when the wall is going down or up. In this clip, you see me walking to a spot where Reyna probably does not expect me. Then I put the wall down early and I killed her easy. Oh, nice. And here the last clip where I put my wall down a little bit early to kill the enemy. Lack. And for the attacking side, I use my wall as soon as the barriers are going down and we are going to enter. This way the enemies has as little time as possible to react, so you get a little bit more advantage. And the last thing, you can shoot your E ability through walls, so you don't have to shoot it over buildings like you had to do in the beta. Now, let's talk about her ultimate. I try to use her ultimate in a few different ways. I try to push with her ultimate, I try to lock down areas, but there are three ways where I think their ultimate is the most effective. And that is when you are defending the spike, when you want to retake a site, or when you killed someone with the spike and want to hold it. When you are using her ultimate, don't forget to use her abilities in her ultimate, it is really helpful. You will have so much control over a certain area, it's very nice. A big mistake that I made when I first started playing Viper was just camping in her ult all the time. It's very important to sometimes walk out of the ult so you have a little bit more control and you can catch the enemies off guard. If you look at the clip in the background, you see that the enemies weren't prepared for me to push out of my ult. One enemy remaining. Nice. So good. The reason that I think that their ult is not very good to lock down sites is because the enemies will just walk around it. If you for example use your ult in garage as the defending site, the enemies won't push garage but they just go through long, mid or A. Pushing with Viper's ult is in my opinion also not a very smart idea. The main reason for this is because her ult does not have a very high range. However, there's one exception. On B side on Haven I think it's very nice to push with the Viper ult. If you got mid control, you can block off the left and the right side and you can plant a bomb in your ult. It's very nice. Now let's talk about the potion cloud and her snake bite. Important to know is that if you use both abilities at the same time, the enemy will just die in like 2 seconds. It's insane. The damage stacks on each other. That's why I recommend to use your snake bite in your potion cloud. Poison's one enemy remaining. <laughs> A good way to abuse this trick is using your potion cloud on the bomb if you planted it and then learn a lineup. Lineups are very very important if you play Viper. Normally I come up with lineups for myself, but I didn't want this video to focus only on lineups. So I watched Unidaru, big shout out to him. Uh, he really makes nice videos with a lot of Viper lineups, so link to his channel is in the description. But after you plant the bomb, just go to the spot, do your lineup and you have two snake bites to work with. Don't forget to activate your potion cloud, because that will also do a lot of damage. In the background you see me making a clutch by basically doing nothing. Easy peasy, yeah. easy peasy. <laughs> I also want to show this clip where I make a 1 vs 3 by only using my lineups. If you are asking yourself what are they talking, well that's Dutch, <laughs> sorry for that. 
Fyra på dig. Det är inget bra. Fattar jag. Du tog den här lighten på den. Nej. Vad är det där? Åh nej. 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 <laughs> well, as you saw, those lineups are really, really helpful. You can also use your poison clouds as one ways. I didn't really try that out though, because I just didn't think about it. But I'm sure it's really helpful in some situations. So what is the best playstyle for Viper? Well, as I said, for the attacking side, it's almost impossible to retake the site if you use your ult on the site. If you want to do that though, you will have to stay alive till you have the site. That's the reason why she is not an entry fragger. Let the duelist go first and chill a bit on the back if you are pushing in. Try to take the spike with you to plant it. The reason for that is that you are getting ult points. And as I said, again, Viper's ult is just overpowered. So if you plant the spike, you have more chance to get more points. As the defending side, play defensive. <laughs> Yeah, of course, your defending side. <laughs> well, I mean, just stay on side. If the enemies are about to push and you see a lot of smokes, you can use your ult to block off the whole side. And if you are gonna retake, you can use your abilities to retake the side easy peasy. I think Viper is very, very fun to play, but very hard to master. That's the reason why I think not a lot of people are playing her. That's a waste in my opinion, because I think she's one of the most broken agents in the game, if you know what you are doing. And to be honest, after one week, I still don't know what I'm doing. But every game I learn something new. Every game I know a little bit better her mechanics. So Viper is about practice, practice and practice. I think I will pick her up more often, just to have fun and learn her a little bit more. If you kept a little bit attention to the background, this is a round where I make six kills. It's one of the few rounds where I ever made six kills. It's very hard to do, but uh, I will uh, show the clip now. Reina short. What do meet meet to meet to? Why are bombs bombing? Why bombing? At time. Creo que por ahí no viene. Estoy fusionando. Ahora sí. I want to thank everyone for watching. This is a different type of video than I do normally with music, you know. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, and I see you in the next one. Peace.